So this is the meat that we put in the dryer yesterday. We take that out today. So I grab two trays at a time. I just put my finger between them and here, and then come over here towards the packing area where today Jim's on the packing. Last Sunday was my wife, and this Sunday it's Jim. So basically what happens here is I lift up a handful of trays, maybe five, six or so, put them in the tub, and then the meat usually falls off quite easily. Sometimes it can be a little bit harder to get off. And as you can see, that's a fairly clean tray. And in a minute that tray, I'll put them over on the sink once I've done them all. And then I'm gonna show you a part of the job that I'm pretty quick with, but some people struggle with this part. Oh. So another clean tray. So I'm just gonna do these few trays and I'm gonna show you how we cut the meat at the moment. Now the machine that I've put a video up before showing cutting of the meat, we don't use that machine anymore because we converted that over to cut the pork skin for the pork crackle and even though it gets cleaned very well, but the settings now are for pork crackle. So I'm actually gonna make a cutter to cut the, the jerky. I can't find exactly what I want in the marketplace. Um, there's nothing really exactly what I need, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one. And I don't mind tinkering around and building stuff. So what I'll do is I'll just, to keep the video fairly short, yeah, there's some that's stuck on a bit. I'm gonna cut in a second. Actually, I'll do these last two and then I'll cut. Just to show you the cutting and then I'll continue on. And you're gonna love the way I cut this meat. And to think of how much meat we go through some weeks and to know that we cut it all by hand. Now, some people have also asked about the strips. So these are the, you know, these are like the full jerky strips that you would have seen me put on the trays in an earlier video. And some people have asked about, can we sell it like this? Well, we can't really because we sell all our jerky packaged and we, we really couldn't get these pieces into a bag and get them in the post. So we cut it all down into bite-sized pieces. So it's ready to go in the bag. So unfortunately we can't sell it in the lengths like that. And also in the lengths like that, as well as the transport, uh, the packaging, and it'd be hard to get all the weights right as well when we, we, you know, we'd probably have to sell every bag with different weights. So I'll just show you now. So these trays are fairly clean and they'll go in a, in a solution for cleaning. Now, this is how we cut the jerky. Not by machine, we use shears. Now, I'm pretty quick at it. Now these shears, I've been through a lot of pairs before I came across these ones. And the, even the best quality shears I could buy on the market, like paying over $250 a set, and they could not hold up. Now the problem with them all is the spring system. None of them, the spring system could survive, including these ones. So we've had to improvise by putting a band on to the thumb, because all of it, this one had a spring in here, some others have a long spring, and the spring lasts about 15 minutes when you cut them like this. So I'm quite quick at it. Some of the staff aren't as quick as me. And even when there's hundreds of kilos to cut, this is exactly how it gets cut. So this is your pieces that get packed into the bags. And I'll cut until the whole tub's done. Sometimes I cut from one tub to another, but I'm just doing a demonstration here for you and so it can all fit on the camera fairly easily. And so the pieces are fairly, fairly small sizes, but that's for the weight bite size piece in every cut. And I find that after all the years of using shears off in the cut, it's, you know, it does fairly well the size, you know. And sometimes when we're filling the kilo bags, we try and cut it a little bit bigger because we know customers do prefer the jerky cut bigger. I've seen some jerky on the market where it's like little tiny slivers like this, little pieces like that in a bag. And customers don't want that. Customers want the bigger pieces. So we try and make it as big as we can and get it in the bags. So it's, so this, 
demonstration, just gives you an idea. And I'll cut maybe this whole tub in about maybe 15 minutes. And then I'll, and Jim will continue packing and then I'll take more out and keep cutting. And we'll keep going until we're finished today's order. And we're back into it again tomorrow. So guys, don't forget, subscribe to our videos so you can keep watching all the other videos on what we make and how we run the factory. And I'll see you on the next one.